welcome to today's program. Well, I got to get rolling on that uh, cockshot tractor. It, it just never stops being muddy. I'm kind of running out of things to do, so time to get that one done. The cylinder head is off being repaired right now, so it's time to get the bottom end of that ready to go so we can finally see if it will indeed start. I tell you what, friends, that, uh, that little loader tractor's, <laughs> I've had that for four days now. I found a use for it every day for the last four days. Not that I didn't want to buy one sooner, but this was the first one I found that I could afford that it was in within walking distance of my house. So, you know, sometimes things just work out. But, hey, that's a good little little tool right there. We'll keep him in the front shelf of the toolbox. Hey, what are you doing over there? You want to help me today? I doubt it. All right, everybody, so first things first, obviously I got two sleeves out of this. I got four more to go, because um, we're gonna do the whole, what they call an in-frame kit. It's gonna give us sleeves, pistons, rings, some bearings, you know, all the good stuff. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go underneath here, measure a rod journal and a main journal, and see if they are within the spec to go to a standard bearing. Now the bearings I pulled out of this just said 68 FM, as in 1968 Federal Mogul. That's my best guess. It didn't say 10, 20, 30, nothing. Didn't, didn't have any under or over on it. So my guess is, is that they're standard bearings, but I don't know that. So I'm going to measure the journal and find out. That's telling me this crank has been turned 30 thousandths already. Hmm, interesting. Oh, what are we running into up there? There's all our pistons out. Hey, look guys, them are some pistons. Three rings with an oil ring. These things were meant to last, no question about that. By golly. All right guys, now sometimes when you're doing projects that you don't do a lot, like doing in-frame rebuilds on tractor engines, I'd prefer not to do them, but in this case, it's all right. Um, you got to get a little creative with tools that you don't normally buy, like a sleeve puller. In this case, I got a dual clamp, a little hook on it, bolt, put her on, tighten her down, cinches that sleeve right out of there. And uh, for the cost of zero dollars, it does work pretty good. Let me go put this nut on here, this bolt on it. See if we can sneak this sleeve out of here and show you how that works. All right, guys, so we got her, got her all snugged up here. Now I'm just gonna take this ridiculously oversized wrench, tighten up this nut, and hopefully ease this sleeve right out of here. I'm using this stupid big pipe wrench on here. Well, this is an inch and a sixteenth nut. I have wrenches that go from inch to inch and an eighth and nothing in between. Don't you know? That's all right. We make do with what we got. All 
And there you have it. Homemade sleeve puller, just as easy as that. I'm gonna knock these other couple sleeves out of here and we're gonna be just about ready for an engine kit. All right, everybody, so here's where we're sitting. All six holes. I need to wash out the inside of that, wash off the outside of that, and uh, maybe take a little bit of emery cloth and just touch that crank up a little bit because it doesn't look bad, but a little quick polish isn't going to hurt anything. Um, other than that, I'm ready for a kit here. Got all my pieces laid out, so... I know what I got to get. When I pulled the main cap, I did discover that the crank has 30 thousandths under turned on the mains. So that's fine. I measured it up and it kind of matches out what I, what I thought it would, uh, would be. So guys, now I'm at the point in time where I'm hoping that I, now that I've got this whole thing apart, I can actually get the parts for it. I really don't want to put old parts back into it and, uh, or whatever. I, I hope I don't, let's, let's put it this way. I hope I don't have to find a little cleaner combine with this engine to put that engine in this tractor. But, you know, when you play with old tractors, sometimes, well, you're playing with fire, guys. So I think today, that's going to shut me right down for now. I got my work cut out for me. I got a little bit of cleaning to do. I won't bore you with all that. Okay, guys, let's fast forward about 30 days here from where we last, last, last left off. I got some engine parts. Oh, I even sent some candy. How nice. Let's see what we got in this box. Hopefully it's enough sleeves and pistons to make that thing go. Ugh. I already picked up some of these fine clevite bearings that seem to be right. So I don't want, well, let's, let's be careful. I don't want to destroy everything. Let's make sure this stuff looks like it's going to be halfway right. Because, you know, things like that never, ever happen. Never gotten wrong parts before. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Okay. By golly, those look pretty darn close. I like where this is going. I like where this is going. Piston's inside already. Okay, I like that. So all you got to do is slide it down enough to put your connecting rod in. And you're in good shape. All right, let's see if it fits in the hole over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I think, I think that's going to work. Oh, yeah. Guys, that's going to work. I am really excited about this. Got new sleeves, new pistons, some gaskets. Okay, so like I say, we just got to... There. That's all you have to do, friends. Get that baby out just far enough so you can reach that sir clip there. Let's check the wrist pin. Make sure the wrist pin looks right.
Okay, now this, like I say, until I get right down to where I want to start putting things together, I'm not going to pull anything any farther apart than this. I've got everything labeled so I know what direction it all goes. So let's just, all I want to do is make sure this is right. Okay, so original. One inch, four thousandths. New one, which I can sneak right in here. One inch, four thousandths. I'm telling you what, it's almost like they made this kit just for that tractor, believe it or not. <laughs> Excellent. Well, all right, guys. Well, I suppose now I really do have my work cut out for me. All right, guys. Well, that's so far for this project is going to tie me up for today. Um, the next time we meet when we're working on this, it's going to start. I just, I got a good feeling. I don't get feelings very often, but boy, when I do, <laughs> this baby's going to run. It's going to run good. So guys, on that note today, oh, a lot of you have been asking about the 4166. Patience, patience. So the 4166 is still sitting exactly where I left it, rest assured. Tractor's not going anywhere. It's certainly not going to anybody else. And uh, I'll get it here eventually. But on that note, just have patience. I still got the, I still have this to work on. I got Big John to work on. Like I say, guys, I got plenty to work on right now. And of course, this time of year, I work in the agriculture industry. <laughs> We're busy, so I got to do the best I can with what I got. So guys, on that note, Thanks so much for watching today. We will see you next time. Got me a hornet nest up in that apple tree.